Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Majestic Notion. Welcome to your December reading. Your December reading. All for you, Gemini. Now, of course, not every Gemini will be going through this in December. Remember when you hear a reading, guys, because I see this in the comments all the time. People getting like, well, this doesn't sound like my divine masculine or my divine feminine or this doesn't sound like my situation. Yeah, because it's not personal. It's a general reading. So if it doesn't sound like your situation, it means this is not your reading. Please remember that. So there's no need to explain because it's not a personal reading. So it's, if you don't resonate, you just don't resonate. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. All you got to do is click off and watch something else. Watch another placement, okay? This is also for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. You know, somewhere out there, someone will resonate and needs to hear the reading. We have to remember that. We're not alone here, okay? Um... So, Gemini, this could resonate the other way around if you are resonating with the reading, or this could be your story, but it is a Gemini reading, so I will read it as such. I will often say, you or the other person. It's going to be different for everybody because, again, it is a general reading. So, flip the energy how it resonates for you. Only take the messages that resonate. Discard the rest, okay? And remember, as I go through the reading, there will be messages, but the storyline could change, again, because it's a general reading. So take the message that I say out of my mouth when I'm feeling it, because it could, the, the energies could switch up, okay? All right, that being said, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. Thank you to all that have donated recently or at all to my channel. Um, through time I really do appreciate it that link is below the video in the description box so will all the cards that I use here today including my own okay um, please hit that like button subscribe to the channel share 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 and hit that notification bell for those of you who would like to know when your readings pop up and Gemini let's get to it let's get to it we're starting off with the dream reading cards here Let's see what's happening. Spirit surrounds me at this time. What's going on with you? This could be energetically surrounding you throughout December in your physical reality, emotionally, mentally. You know, let's see. How are the holidays treating my Geminis? It could be love, money, family, career. So let's see. What's the focus? What's the focus here in December? You are the other person. Freedom. Well, isn't that a Gemini energy? Uh, I think so. Freedom, number 50, change. So I'm feeling like coming out of something here. Okay, letting it go, letting it fly. So that you can release and fly yourself. So it says, free yourself from limiting beliefs and attitudes. Be an advocate of freedom so others can be free to pursue their dreams so somebody here has a purpose okay but you have to lead by example unshackle the chains that bind you from being the person you want to be so this is getting to the core of your true authenticity and freeing yourself from constraints right um oppression um you know things that limit your your experience in this life right kind of setting your soul your spirit free here so this is very very uh, important um, so very nice I, I like this energy so somebody here definitely has a purpose you're the you're the odd odd man or odd woman out in the family right the one that sees through the veil but you know you're, you're meant to be your true authentic self meaning you're you're here to break generational like curses or a specific conditioning or belief system or mindset that has been passed down generation after generation after generation you're you are that one person in your family that is chosen to to free yourself to start your own like you know chain to start your own family tree 
in, in a more open-minded sense, in a free sense, in being your true authentic sense, you know. Because why would we want to condemn our own children, right, if we have any, or will have any in the future, to live as we do when we know deep down inside we're not living or standing in our truth, right? And you are that person. So it's like freeing yourself also helps free others because they're going to live through you and they're going to see how good you are going to live life and how happy you're becoming as well in the process. No more oppressed, no more lying to yourself just to make, make others comfortable. This is all about you, okay? Setting up those boundaries, believing in yourself, believing in something bigger than you even, and letting go of the comfort zone. So this is, uh, I mean, there's a lot here in this card, but this is great. I love this energy. Um, yeah, bottom of the deck, we have flow. Number 27, we have two, which is duality, putting in what you get out, or, or yeah, getting... Well, you know what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, putting in what you, what, what, you know, you get what you put in, basically. And then seven is a very divine number. So I feel you're very divinely guided. And Spirit is trying to get you to trust in them. Now, of course, some of you already know this, but some people are starting out and they're still feeling, you know, a little bit stuck and they need to free themselves. So, you know, take it how it resonates, okay? For you because it's going to be different for everybody everybody's at a different level here but 27 can be significant it could be the 27th of December something happens where you know you say no more something doesn't sit well with you okay it could be someone's age so it could be your age or someone around you it could be you know anything it also adds up to nine which is closing out cycles right it is december it is the end of the year and starting off 2022 which is 222 that's your number all day number two the, the the number of duality so the spirit's got a lot to say okay guys <laughs> so this is about going with the flow let me read the card you can't control life's events you can only control how you deal with them it's easier to go with the flow when life challenges you. Emotions can overflow unless you release them. And that's another thing, that oppression, that oppressed emotional self. Purging of all those things we hold on to from the past, you know, that hurt us perhaps or made us a certain way. That's definitely allowing those emotions to bubble up to the surface, cry them out, release them. And just really, instead of taking the past with you, take the lesson, right? So that's what I'm seeing there. We won't get too deep into that. Let's keep it moving. Moving on to the archetype deck here. I'm just getting a couple cards. You know, sometimes we can get in a rebellious energy, not wanting to do things a certain way because now we want to control the outcome of our life. But we're, we're sometimes creating more blockages for ourselves when we do that too. And, you know, when you just allow the flow to happen, there is no control. You're, you're free. You're just letting it flow. So, I like the energy. Very nice. All right, Gemini. Okay, so we have a friend here. This could be somebody we need to let go, but we're going to see. So there could be a specific person here that has been a blockage, and I feel like maybe that's why freedom is here. And then it says free yourself from limited beliefs and attitudes. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Okay, this could be freeing yourself like the horse we have here, but this friend could be kind of always starting shit, you know, kind of like a kind of flighty and, you know, maybe always trying to fight, you know, start some type of drama or battle. 
Okay, so bottom of the deck we have Hot Nerd. But this could definitely just talk about freeing yourself from someone. And we have CEO with Cancer here. Somebody here could have Cancer Moon or you could be Cancer. Um, excuse me, have Cancer in your chart or dealing with a Cancer. Um, yeah, maybe we've been playing the victim or someone around us that were... It's a friend with benefits, definitely. That plays the victim. And then there's a lot of sexuality, but it's almost like that's it. Yeah, there's some sort of reunion with this person that we keep in our lives that likes to play the victim. Yep. And I don't know about this person. Not good. That's why this card is here. Um, so let me see. Let me get a couple of these. This is by King of Aloha here on YouTube. Fortune Teller deck. You know, sometimes the chemistry could be on fire, but it doesn't necessarily mean that person is good for you. At the end of the day, they could cause more damage than good. Um, you know, and when we're wrapped up in the sex or the lust part of it, you know, it, it could we can make a mistake and get someone pregnant, or somebody can get us pregnant, or, you know, depending on what their sexual lifestyle is, lot, is like, you know, you can get an uncurable, uncurable STD. You know, we just, we ought to make better choices sometimes. And I know it's easier said than done for a lot of people. But it's, it's just a matter of your state of mind. And how you view yourself also. Self-worth is uh, definitely, yeah, speaking of that, look at that. Damn, there will be a new addition to your family. Or a new start. I can't make this shit up, guys. It obviously intuit. I intuit that coming. Oh, Gemini, Gemini! Opportunity. A new opportunity is coming towards you. This could be the Knight of Swords energy. Gemini, what do we get ourselves into? Bottom of the deck. We have a six spell. You may fall under the weather. Take care. So someone, that's a spell, six spell. Someone's trying to make you feel under the weather for whatever reason. Make, uh, sending you negative energy here with six spell. So take a spiritual bath. I recommend that. Um, I would use black salt just in case somebody here is messing with fucking black magic. As we've been getting very often all around YouTube here. Not just my channel. Um, and Gemini, you seem to attract this energy a lot. I've seen some Gemini readings. And it, this energy is very prominent around you. Um, definitely cleanse yourself. Um, this person's obviously... This friend, this is bad. This is somebody trying to keep someone stuck. Okay, and somebody's falling into the trap. I mean, this person could already be pregnant here. For sure. Yeah, sudden shock or collapse of a foundation. Divine removal or something faulty. Yeah, the divine has been wanting to get you away from this. So, you're this person, so let's see what's happening. I'm using the Celtic Tarot here. I just saw the sun with the two of wands. So somebody might have been standing at the crossroads here for too long and now they're really going to have to make a choice because now there's a baby involved. Oh lordy, here we go, down the rabbit hole. Okay, let's talk about it. What's going on with this friend? Spirit. The 
fool. Something new. That that's you know, this could also be the baby. New beginning here. Or needing to free thyself, like it said here, from whatever whoever this is, before the situation hits the fan. So let's see. Three of Wands. Maybe we're waiting on some sort of results here before we make a decision also. May or may not be pregnant. What's happening here? Knight of Swords. Looks like someone won some kind of battle. Okay, Knight of Swords slayed somebody. Nine of Cups. I'm, I'm feeling like somebody is seeing this as a win. Very manipulative though. Okay, for some of you, maybe somebody sees you as wish fulfillment and they want to run to you. But, uh, let's talk about this fool, this friend. Page of Cups. Okay, so... Okay, so I see a new beginning here. There could be someone you're crushing on. You could be crushing on a friend or a friend's crushing on you here. Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We're wanting to take a leap of faith here, but maybe we want to start as friends with someone. But there's definitely another situation here. Okay, it does say a new opportunity is coming towards you once they free themselves here. So I feel like either you or this person, well, both of you are at a distance. So let's talk about this three of wands. Eight of swords. Fear of the unknown is what I heard. Feeling stuck again in a situation. Somebody's definitely trying to trap somebody here. Um, clarify the Eight of Swords. Or they have, you know. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, split two ways is what I'm hearing. Someone is currently giving to another situation. Feeling stuck at this time, but they know that you're on the other side here like waiting or expecting um to meet up with this person at some point and then we have the five of pentacles here somebody's pockets is running dry too they've been giving too much i feel this person's in a codependent connection and that's why somebody's trying to trap this person oh boy all right let's talk about this nine of cups again it could be lack of self-worth because somebody needs to let go of limited beliefs king of swords king of swords knight of swords nine of cups I, why do i feel like somebody wants somebody's head male or female so somebody's trying to get pregnant or get you pregnant and we have two it's, you see two 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 has been coming out a lot very significant here uh 2022 is very significant page of wands this could be the child okay and the lovers i'm feeling like somebody wants a child with you guys for some of you whoever this person is that maybe you you had feelings for or gemini this could be you also the king of swords if you had feelings for a queen of cups i feel like there was somebody else in the mix here either this person had a child with someone another lover this is your card gemini we're gonna put this here so we can clarify later or they want to get you pregnant or shit it could be both who knows but somebody's trying to keep you stuck i feel like some of you freed yourself from whoever this is and there is a new beginning here but maybe that person is a friend right now i'm getting a lot of stories here so bear with me okay so for some of you maybe there's a friend that wants to take a leap of faith with you or someone new that will become a friend but they are crushing on you okay this is someone you could also be crushing on then i'm also seeing a situation gemini where there's somebody you loved but either this person is trying to trap you with a child and they're a friend of yours 
or someone here is trying to get this person pregnant. Okay, just remember the main energy is freedom. There's definitely two situations happening here. Bottom of the deck, we have the star. Could be an Aquarius that broke somebody's heart here. Yeah. And we have the five of cups, ten of swords, and the three of swords. Damn. So someone here is crying over spilled milk. Someone here still is thinking about you and wants this wish fulfillment with you. But it's not in the best way it's a yeah knight of swords this person's brutal i think it's that king of swords gemini it could be an aquarius um so you could have dealt with an aquarius they got a lot to learn um i feel like you you've been healing from that and that's why you're meeting someone new here the star you purified your energy of this person this was freaking brutal So this person could have caused your, your awakening here and your movement forward to free yourself and be your true authentic self. That's what I'm seeing. Very immature. Knight of Swords, King of Swords with that head. This is somebody that goes to war and they have a very... This is somebody that is not going to budge from their belief system. And their belief system is... It's kind of brutal. It's... it's, it's I'm hearing kind of unfair. It's, it's... It's a very negative energy. Okay? Especially when I'm seeing all of this. This person is... Is very cutting with their words. You know, it's all about winning to them. No, it, it's not about what's right or what's wrong. It's about winning here. I don't like this energy, but you, I feel like you learned something about these kinds of people. And I feel like that was a lesson for you. Um, and I know that sounds kind of harsh, like a harsh lesson, but sometimes those are our biggest um, motivators to move out of a specific stagnancy or comfort zone so I feel like you know it, you were being pushed because you had a purpose okay so this could be um, some past energy for some of you but I do see some new energy coming in so let's get into that well then let's see all right we're switching over to the Joker tarot so there is a divine connection so I feel like you took a wrong path before or the person you're watching for um for some of you somebody this could be about both of you the divine counterpart here there's a divine connection here but i feel like this is talking about both of you going the wrong direction okay and there could be a child involved with you or your counterpart So let's see what we got going on here. We have the King of Swords over here again. So this person is someone you considered a friend, someone you fell for, is what I'm seeing. You or this person, switch it how it resonates, whoever the King of Swords is here and whoever the Queen of Cups is here. So you really liked this person. It was a friend of yours. And perhaps you wanted to take a leap of faith with this person at some point. Um, I'm feeling like this person either had a child with someone else here. Okay. Or they want to get you pregnant. Or again, for some of you, it could be both things. Um, and I feel like this could have been like karma. Like karmic situation is what I'm seeing. Because you have a purpose and you freed yourself. Some of you need to free yourself, and that's where you're at at this point. Again, we're all at different levels here. So take it how it resonates. Yeah, you definitely closed out a major cycle. Some of you moved with the three of wands in the world, and you're doing a lot better. Okay, you're taking that cup of wine elsewhere. That's that cup of love. It's giving me that queen of cups here. 
energy. Yeah, you got tired of giving to that situation. You broke free. You, Yeah, that's what happened. Some of you are breaking free. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person was juggling. Okay. This person also could have financial issues. But I see this person has scarcity mindset is what I'm seeing. And it's all about winning. This is not the right kind of King of Swords. This is not a positive King of Swords. Four of Wands. Now, for some of you, maybe you're meeting... These, these could be two different air signs. So we're going to see here. We're going to see what this is about. We have the Four of Wands here, which is stability, you know, planting your seeds, things growing, um, you know, working on your, you know, what, whatever you got going on here. Now, this person, again, they're not in the right mindset, so they could see you as someone stable now, and all of a sudden, they want to anchor themselves next to you, but it's not necessarily with good intentions. If we're talking about the person you freed yourself from. Now, if we're talking about someone new here, we're going to see. Because we have the lovers, so I feel an, another presence here. Yeah, there's the emperor. This person could be in the public eye, guys. But this person has their shit together. Okay, and this is coming after the world, which tells me this is a new beginning. So you could be going to see this person at some point. You're, you're on your way to a different life is what I'm getting here. Um, and again, like I was getting earlier, this person could be stuck at a distance with someone that is having the child. I'm getting, again, I'm getting the stories of both you and your divine counterpart. But I'm also getting the story of the person you you know that you freed yourself from and then I'm getting a little glimpse of what your counterpart could be dealing with whoever's the Emperor here so this is a lot of energy guys be, be patient with me okay because this is a lot for me too okay yeah six of swords spirit dragged you out of there <laughs> you could have went kicking and screaming but they had to pull you out of that situation because this person was juggling Okay, I also feel like this person, um, this person could be spending all their money on gambling, but, or on unnecessary things, because it's the kind of person that wants to create shortcuts in life, I can tell you that much, okay, and they're not doing so hot, they're out of page at the end of the day, and, it, it, you know, maybe there's a new child here, and they don't have the money okay somebody's being strategic here so watch out for that one anyways let's see what else here oh yeah there you go the lovers the lovers so there's a new beginning here so like I said for some of you this is another air sign but it could be a different air sign it doesn't have to be the same one you dealt with okay it could be a Libra Aquarius Gemini um, Others of you, that person from your past is going to try, try to get in where they can fit in once they see you happy with someone new here. Okay, because this is beautiful. The lovers with the four of wands, that's, you know, divine counterpart. Twin flame, but, you know, aside from the label, it's a divine connection. Okay. Beautiful. It could just mean someone very wise. It doesn't have to be an air sign, okay? Someone that stimulates your mind. I feel like some of you could be um, sapiosexual. You'd like to be with someone that stimulates your mind. Especially if you've been gone through an awakening and you freed yourself and you're authentic. You want somebody to mirror that energy. Eight of Cups. Yeah, this emperor has to close out a cycle as well. Okay? Um, and that could be the person that needs to free themselves now. Okay, so somebody here has already freed themselves from someone in the past, but your counterpart 
also needs to do the same because they also have a purpose here. Wow, Gemini, talk about duality. <laughs> That's why I'm talking, it's the yin and yang energy, so I'm also talking about the balance within the both of you, but also the balance within the connection and all the dark and positive, uh, you know, dark and light energies that surrounded the both of you. So this, this little reading right here is freaking jam-packed with energy. Okay. Whew. I need a little break after this one. Okay, so we have the hermit. Yeah, this person's contemplating. Okay, for some of you, though, Six of Swords with the hermit, you're a lot wiser now. And that's why you want somebody that stimulates your brain cells. You ain't falling for the bullshit. You see connections now differently. Okay, they're not just surface level. There's, there's deeper meanings to the connections that we have in life. And you've gone within... And uh, you know what that energy was all about, okay? And for your counterpart, Eight of Cups, that's exactly where they're at right now. Learning a lesson here and going within and questioning it all, basically. And honing in our, on who they are and what they think about things and, you know, being one with spirit as well. Unmovable force right now because they are in deep contemplation learning okay and watching observing that's what i'm seeing here all right bottom of the deck king of cups ah to the queen of cups yeah look at that page of cups queen of cups page of cups king of cups mirrored mirrored energy oh my god that's beautiful and there you are six of cups past life connection waiting for him you know not like that like low vibe i'm oh, i'm waiting for you but it's almost like they enter the room and this sun i'm seeing her hair as like light the sun is beaming you're glowing and it's like oh my god so in love look at his face thinking about you it's like a little kid in a candy store this is beautiful. You both are being blessed. Yes, it's a manifestation. The magician. I feel you guys are going to have a lot of good times together. Okay? Both of you might like to dance also. That you could have a, a love of music, a specific music, or all kinds of music here. There's the sun. Aww. Gemini. Yeah, I feel you guys are going to work together. Okay, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they need to free themselves from a, a third, you know, someone else here. We're going to clarify this new baby stuff and, and the opportunity. I feel you guys are going to be working together too. You know, Emperor Empress Energy, building an empire. That is beautiful. Two people that stimulate each other's mind, kindred spirit, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of laughter here, a lot of smiles, really bright, carefree energy in the, in your individual state of mind and true self, not oppressed anymore, just feeling like, like a candy candy store, right? Returning back to self before all the bullshit happened, right? All the traumas and all the conditioning and limited beliefs. It's like getting back to self. Like when you were a child. Carefree. Very beautiful. Okay. I'm glad the reading turned around like that. Now we are, we are going to get. We saw how. We saw your new beginning is bright. For both you and your counterpart. Because it's the connection you share. After they free themselves. And go through this hermit mode. I feel like a lot of you already have done that. So you choose who's who here. You know, who's going, freeing themselves now and who's actually already freed themselves from another energy. Now, I will say that that past person, as soon as they see you happy, they're going to try to get in where they can fit in. I can see that already. They're being strategic because shit is not going well for them. Now, we're going to see what this new baby is about here. And I'm going to get into my house of cards, the haunted. So, 
And, you know, it could just be, you know, your brother becoming a father or your sister having a child, you know. It could just be something like that. But I have a feeling it, it goes a little deeper than that. So let's see. You could be having a child too. You know, take it how it resonates. Or, or your counterpart. Let's do one more shuffle. We're going to find out now. That's awesome. Page of Cups, King of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups. With the Fool. I mean, that's beautiful. Okay, we have Be Mine. This is for that new baby. Let it burn. I release what no longer serves me and transmute all darkness into light. Hmm. Observe. Yeah, pay close attention to the behaviors of those around you. Okay, so obviously someone wants you to be theirs, right? But they're observing someone they need to let go of. Yeah, we have lost angels. Time to get your wings back. So the emperor could be in the process of doing just that. Of course, you already know the stories of the lost angels. They could be dealing with somebody in their darkness. We do have the I transmute all darkness into light. Beauty beyond rules here. And rebirth. I'm not the fool I once was. Okay. Um, so for some of you, it could be the past person that has a new child. And they're struggling when it comes to maybe paying child support or something like this. But let's see. Yeah, this is the sign you've been looking for. Okay. And recognition. Avoidance is the fastest way to regrets. So someone felt a connection towards you, but maybe they chucked it up to, no, this can't be real or something. Um, but they see the sign and they realize that you are their counterpart. They see you ha your beauty beyond rules. They could be observing you. Okay, so somebody could be going through a rebirth here and they're letting go of some past energy. Yeah, this is where the magic happens. So somebody's getting their wings back. I'm not getting a clear energy on this baby, so I'm going to use, yeah, shame not showing face. Maybe for the choices they made here. Yeah, inner guidance. I follow the ebb and flow of where I'm guided to go. And downward spiral. Yeah, it's almost like you... Okay. Yeah, I feel like we could be talking about that past person. Whoever's on this ego trip, which I knew it was this person, and I told you they're not doing so hot. They're on a downward spiral. And they are they are stripped of divine protection and all things they chose to ignore here. So you could have dealt with a karmic soulmate, okay? And you were guided to move forward. They did observe you. They did want you to be theirs, but you let it burn and you transmute all darkness into light. And you got your wings back. You're not the fool you once was. And you saw the sign for what it is. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. They feel ashamed. That's why they haven't been showing face. But again, this is duality. Okay? You and your counterpart are mirroring each other. So, they're going through the same situation. What I'm not clear on is this baby here. So, yeah. Revelation at the bottom of the deck. A hidden truth is revealed that you might not have expected with excess indulging in toxic things and or behaviors yeah there could be a pregnancy test here somewhere okay we have unclear the answers you seek are just outside your comfort zone all right so let me see so either one of you is dealing with this baby situation you or your counterpart or it's your past person here um I'm going to break out a deck here to see who this is at least.
This is my everyday witch tower, tow, I mean, tarot. It's the mini version. So we're going to see what this is. Tell me about this baby, though, spirit. You know, for some of you, though, somebody did get um, caught up in a karmic situation, even though they recognize the connection with you, this divine counterpart. Um, and now they, they're observing so they can free themselves, let it burn, right? And things haven't been going too well because, you know, when you're taking a, a dark path and chose to be with, you know, a lost angel, well, you get stripped of divine protection. So, um, let's talk about this new baby. Who is this? The moon. Uh-oh. Okay, so maybe this hasn't come to light yet, or someone doesn't know they're pregnant. We have temperance and the four of pentacles. Ooh, somebody's holding this information in. Okay, patiently waiting here. Okay, so either somebody lost a baby, five of cups, or they found out they weren't pregnant. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. So somebody was waiting to find out if they were pregnant. I don't think they they were or that they are. Ooh. Three of Cups. Yeah, they wanted to start a family with the, your divine counterpart, okay? I feel they've been trying to get pregnant for a while. Um, this person is does stuff under the moon and it blows up in her face. Yeah. And she gets pissed that when it doesn't work because she knows there's another connection here. Yep. And it's faded. Huh. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups, right? Could be her and her friends doing some weird shit under the moon here. Somebody's trying to cheat destiny. You, you can't come in between two divine counterparts. You don't have that power. You know, this person doesn't have that power to do this. But they're, I don't know where they got it in their head that they could. Somebody's doing something with their friends. It's been for a long time. Knight of Pentacles. Because they wanted a family here with this person. There's the same three people planning out a plan to get into this um, lineage, uh, this financial. Somebody wants some sort of financial stability. And look at this. It's like they're going to a store here and bringing something. You see how there's hearts coming out of this cup? Some sort of love potion and she's picking up a heart here. Somebody's putting something in somebody's drink. I don't know what she's doing over it. Somebody could be doing something under the rain also. Uh, they could be using water as a form of um, sorcery, witchcraft, whatever. And it's some kind of love thing going on. But it backfired, guys, with the tower. It fucking did. It didn't work. See? Yeah, somebody was being deceptive here. Seven of Swords. Could have been learning about witchcraft. You know, sometimes we got friends that are always like, Oh, I heard this, and you should probably do this, and blah, 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 blah. And if this person is young or doesn't know about karma, well, that's why the tower's here. They'll blow up in her face. And now she's upset. Knight of Swords. Back in hermit mode to see... What else she can do here? So now maybe she's going to use fire. Like, what the hell? She or he. And it's because 
you they know that you are their counterpart two of cups and you're at a distance three of wands and it's written in the stars fated to happen okay yeah you're over here healed they know you're healed here and they can't sleep because they want yep they want to keep this person stuck with a baby I'm telling you eight of swords the queen of pentacles the empress but the empress is also you wow yeah somebody's gonna lose a baby uh yeah that's, that's not you somebody's gonna lose a child because they've been doing too much eight of pentacles queen of cups this person's doing too much this person's also doing all kinds of weird mixes here guys they could be even because they want to hold this emperor back the emperor with the strength card they want to hold this person back from coming to you and they're definitely doing like if they're wishing death on you and doing that spell if this person got pregnant they lost the child you don't get to mess around with black magic and wish ill will on others and not go through consequences that's what happened here most definitely that's what happened here she could also be doing um th this person's doing too much she could also be doing like targeting your own womb so that you don't have a child with divine masculine I guarantee you when he comes to you she'll be in the background doing all kinds of shit because again just like the person you dealt with that's still in your energy this person wants to win at all costs so you both dealt with similar energies very dark energies surrounded you and and it's still around this masculine damn guys well the good thing is we do have a beautiful connection but man the situation is dire on both sides because of these energy vampires these dark energies that want to win at all costs it's like they don't want to see you too happy why can't people just move on find yourself another victim or something it, it, but you know other than that why don't you just heal like it's just ridiculous ridiculous she lost a child because she was wishing ill will on you she was wishing death she's doing death spells so she created her own child's demise that's some fucked up shit he needs to really free himself and you know what she's gonna do now she's gonna use those tears to manipulate the divine masculine here and that's probably why he's having a hard time leaving and she did it on herself he really needs to wake up oh boy wow okay um let's see here let's get a few cards for that as well and then we're going to clarify this opportunity here wow 49 minutes damn <laughs> that's what happens when a reading is jam-packed with energy i mean there's a lot of people here yeah look at that cut off by spirit oh yes there will be justice count on it damn yep she's doing something bad she or he whoever's with this karmic that keeps doing black magic alright spirit give it to me get out your head and we do see somebody the divine masculine stuck in their head there okay 
thinking about freeing themselves, thinking about you also, needing to close out a cycle and walk away, eight of cups. Be ready for a shocker. Mm -hmm. They probably already got that news. Unsolved mysteries. Huh. Oh, snap. Okay, oh, I, I didn't even mention, we're getting into my truth bomb deck, right? Well, unsolved mysteries. We, we already saw the moon. This person got pregnant by someone else. When the cat's away, the mice will play. Deceptive behavior. Oh, snap. Oh, damn. Call a friend and have some fun. Oh, she most certainly did. So I don't know if she lost the baby yet. I think she did because there's a five of cups or she just found out it was someone else's. Not the person she wanted it to be. Divine Masculine. Meant to be. Oh. That's her karma. Magical vibes. So intriguing. This love is unmatched. That is you guys. You and your counterpart. And shit's gonna hit the fan. Sooner or later. So he doesn't know right now, probably. For some of you, this person didn't lose the child yet. They're mad. They're, they're crying because it's not his baby. Somebody slept with someone else, and sooner or later, the shit's going to hit the fan. It's an unsolved mystery. She doesn't even know who the, who the child is. But meant to be. It, Spirit is saying this was meant to be, because I feel like that's how they're coming over here. Oh, shit. Better go with the ebb and flow. We have that here. Or they should have went with the ebb and flow. It's going to be one of the two. Oh, damn. You are the father. Uh. Uh. But they're so attracted to you. Your intellect arouses me. You're simply irresistible. Yeah, this lesson's going to sting a little. So, it doesn't have to be the masculine. It could be you are the father. They figure out who the father is. Right now, nobody has figured it out. Okay? But, it's still a possibility that it can be him. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're planning on sweeping you off your feet. But they don't. I don't think they know about this. I think she's still trying to figure it out. Whew. Take yourself out on a date. Okay, you never know who you you might bump into. Okay, I mean, this is new. This could be a crush here. Um, but maybe, you know, it just all depends what happens here. I don't know. Maybe they need to take themselves out and bump into you. Hooked on your essence. Okay, they know you have good intentions. And they, yeah, it's time for them to reflect on who and what surrounds them. Because somebody was running around cheating. Not even sure who that is. And you are their most beautiful manifestation. Twinkle Eye Crush. Wow. Some of you met already somewhere when you were like out and about. Others of you, you might meet this person somewhere. Damn, Gemini. Holy shit. Get ready for a shocker. Oh, man. Someone's in their head because they don't know what to do. When the cat's away, the mice will play. Call a friend and have some fun. Meant to be. Shit's gonna hit the fan sooner or later. Go with the ebb and flow. This lesson's gonna sting a little with you are the father. That might just be, you know, their lesson for not going your way when they had the chance. But it could also be that someone else is the father and that's a lesson to him. 
and he got involved with someone that sleeps around that's that's gonna peel the veil from his eyes and see this person for who they truly are so unsolved mysteries it can go either way guys so next year should be fun <laughs> oh gosh wow Gemini holy shit well let's take a look at this new opportunity before I let you guys go and then I'll give you a um, fortune here wow I'm just like holy shit yeah, fuck around get burnt but that person has been doing spells I guarantee you something's about to blow up in her face I mean, she's the one that's pregnant. That's why I'm saying she. Okay. But he could have also, if it's a he, karmic, dark energy, he could have um, gotten someone pregnant. So take it how it resonates. Okay, guys. Let's talk about this opportunity. A new opportunity is coming towards you. Knight of Swords. Okay, so somebody, this is, I feel like this could be your past person or your counterpart's past person. Knight of Swords twice because you have other opportunities. Okay, new opportunities coming towards you. I told you somebody's going to try to get in where they can fit in when you start meeting up with this new person. Because someone is going to take a leap of faith no matter what's going on here. This is not somebody you've been in a relationship before. This is kind of new. Could be a friend for some of you. Um, it's definitely a crush. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune with Strength. Okay, the new opportunity could be this person, this Divine Masculine. And I do feel it comes um, with work involved as well. What else here? Yeah, but they're contemplating right now. They're in Hermit mode. This person's learning, okay? Building up that lion energy, that divine masculine energy, that strength and confidence. That's what this is. And, and somebody's holding them back. Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Swords. That's this situation. That's about to pop off. Probably this month. Or they could be in hermit mode thinking about all this shit right now. If they just found out. Yeah, two of wands. Okay, so... Yeah, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. She keeps thinking about this new beginning with you and him. Jesus. She wants that money. And there you go with the past person. Jesus. Yeah, somebody missed an opportunity here with you and that's the person in the past king of swords came up again so you both dealt with like this sword energy the sword energy is not just that it's an air sign but swords think of gold is usually something you give someone right a sword is used for cutting stabbing killing war you know and it is for speaking the truth but sometimes it could be a negative in a negative aspect you know if you have someone with a fourth ton mental manipulation you know putting you down striking you down but gold is something you build something you gift and that's what I'm seeing here is that you guys have gifts you and this Emperor the Empress and the Emperor to build an empire because there is a lot of giving here six of Pentacles equal reciprocity equal giving and receiving it's not about being cutthroat and cold and winning at all costs or anything like that. That's what I'm seeing. So, what I'm seeing is this masculine sees you as their new opportunity. This is a, a, a divine opportunity that has presented them, itself in his life. But boy, they've been going through it with this person. Okay? But it also comes with you guys 
working together and building that empire, you know, through time. It's not like something that's going to happen overnight. The proposition could, but the extent of it is working together and building something, all while getting to know each other as well. So you, you guys are going to learn a lot from each other, okay? Um, wow. That's, that's a mouthful, and oh my god, this is an hour reading. What else was I going to do here? Oh, let me get you a few more cards over there. And then we're going to leave it there after this um, fortune card. I didn't get one for Taurus because Taurus reading was rough, man. There was some good in there, but it was really rough. Okay, what else is going on here? This, yeah, they're starting to realize they're in a temporary connection. That's why they're in hermit mode here. Yeah, they're dealing with someone that's ignorant. Yep, they need to stop living for others. That's what's happening here. And you're looking good. Keep it up. Okay. And spirit got the wheel. Just enjoy the ride. Go with the ebb and flow. That's what Spirit's been trying to get this person to do. Yeah, because they're dealing with someone that is not trustworthy. We already saw that. They're cheating, doing things under the moon also. This person is surrounded by naysayers. They need to stop listening to others that are not even on their path or have their purpose. They understand nothing of what this purpose is about. Yeah, they need to stop allowing themselves to be taken for granted. They're better than that. And time to go within, which is what they're doing. The person they're dealing with has mental health issues. Okay? And they need to stop asking when, how, and why you're a force to be reckoned with. Okay? And you do have a stalker, and that's the past person. They just can't get enough stalker vibes. And that's exactly what the person they're dealing with is going to become when they when they finally free themselves. They're not going to leave this person alone. At least not energetically. Um, that's for sure. They don't like to lose. Oh, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, let me get you a fortune card, and that's it. I spent a lot of time with you guys, because this... It's just going to hit the fan. A lot of energy here. I'm going to do one more reading today and that's it. <laughs> My goodness. Let's get you a fortune. Okay, Spirit. Alright, here we go. There you go. Goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. So I feel like this is saying, you know, just enjoy the ride. Focus on your goals. They'll be achieved. This will work itself out. Spirit's got the wheel on this. They're going through it. And I feel you're just, you know, you already went through this storm here. Even though this person is still hanging on energetically, this person in the past. Okay, they're a stalker watching your every move. Um, just focus on you. You guys are protected. Okay, anyways, it doesn't matter what kind of witchcraft or whatever this person's got up their sleeve. You're protected. Alright. Yeah, star. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. So there you go. Alright guys, Gemini, now this is it. That's what I have for you guys. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates because, wow, that was extensive. And let me know, man. Let me know how it goes. I'm curious to see what January brings for you guys. You know, if this energy pops up again. Whoever's resonating here. Because, you know, energy circulate. You never know who I'm going to pick up on next time. But, uh, wow. Alright, guys. I'll talk to you later. Wish you the best. Bye-bye.